Well, hey there, guys. It's currently 4th of July. For you guys, it's like a week later. An exciting day. Always brings back fun memories as a as a kid, though I am kind of a kind of a I'm kind of childish right now, I guess. I'm gonna rake a smaller field of alfalfa and alfalfa. That just sounds weird. Alfalfa. Some people call it lucerne. Anyway, we're gonna hop up in the tractor. We're gonna get going. We're gonna rake a little bit of hay today. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> it's nice finding new angles to new places to put your camera. Bugs. Sometimes I'm just setting up the camera and I'm thinking, man, that's a good spot. Right now it doesn't look that great, but we'll see. <laughs> But that stuff starts hugging the ground pretty hard. The rake peels it up, scrapes it up, flips it a little bit so we can dry out that other side. Just leaving it real nice back there. Since we got all this humidity, it seems like leaves is not something we need to worry about. So I'm gonna put her in high gear, road gear. We're gonna bang out some acres, eh? I think when this video goes up, I think it's on a Saturday, I'll currently be at my uh, brother's wedding. I'm the best man. No, I'm not. It's my other brother. Congrats, Robbie and Sarah. I'm excited for you to have grandchildren. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. You have plenty of time. Anyway, just wish you two the best and uh, just a life of happiness. <laughs> Nothing like going for a swim on 4th of July with your friends. Hey guys, look at that. Got Elliot kiddie pool, like 20 people said we should do. Once you know it, this morning she was running around Set right down in there. Not in the pool. Whatever. So it's uh, July 5th now. I'm bringing dad some food, some water, and I'm gonna drive the baler to uh, over 150 acres of hay on the ground. And I'm gonna start raking. He's raking right now. Dad's gonna start baling. And Andy's over there. They got a rake and maybe a baler, maybe even two balers over there. So potentially there'll be two rakes and three balers going. So I asked dad how long we're gonna be out in this field today, it's actually like a bunch of fields, some grass, some alfalfa. And he said, all day and part of the night, you know, I clock out at five, so I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm gonna be raking some grass to start with. Dad will, he might be baling some grass, but there is grass and alfalfa cut. This fork just fell on the ground. Don't tell him. Looks like Jeff just started our second cutting of alfalfa on this field. Yesterday, Dad ended up baling that stuff that I raked and so that's all bailed up and getting up to the the acres of hay tons of acres of hay we got this over here there's a bunch of grass I think there's some alfalfa in there yeah you can see the different color change maybe then down there there's a rake and a bale going that's Andy's outfit so they're they're gonna be on the east side of the road and then on the west side of the road I think dad and I are gonna be over there and I can see there are other balers going so yeah there's gonna be three balers and two rakes going over here that's that's quite the production, eh? We're gonna be making some hay. Alright, so you saw how much hay was on the east side of the road. Now we're on the west side of the road. There's an alfalfa patch there, one behind it. This big piece of grass, and right here too, where dad's raking. A lot of hay. Howdy. Um, I'll chase you around the field, get the end rows off. We don't want to break down today. We got lots of food. Okay. I just want Dad to know that although I did drop your fork on the ground, there was only one cold bottle of water in the fridge, and I took the warm one. I don't think the baler could handle this one. Jeff, did you cut this tree? Did you lay it in the windrow? 
Well, Dad caught up to me quick. Holy Moses! I keep hitting those big bumps, and like I swear I'm gonna lose a whole, a whole tire in a hole or something. Right now, what we're raking and baling is actually a pasture. Ugh. And you know how pastures, they, uh, they're usually old. You know, they usually don't, people aren't really planting pastures. And so when they're old, they have more time to basically have gophers and, well not gophers, badgers dig holes. And for some reason my seat has kind of become an active seat, you know, and it changes with whatever. I, every time I bounce, you can hear it, it starts filling with air and then it starts letting the air go. I don't know. I don't know if that's broken. If it's... It's a mess. Look at Doppler radar right now. This line of severe thunderstorms is located just off to the west of the Bonilla area here. Pushing to the east at about 30 miles per hour has passed. Again, a severe thunderstorm warning now in effect for the north. Unraking that piece. And Andy is still bailing right here. And I think I'm in the way. Oh. And Dad's headed back. We're just figuring out where we're gonna go rake next. And it looks like I'm headed across the road to the east and just gonna do some more grass. Man. there it looks like the other rake has just finished the last of the grass on that side oh wait no there's another piece never mind that's wrong we still got a lot left but anyway so there's a little bit of grass over there still those two fields of alfalfa and then all of that if I don't break my front axle out here it's gonna be a miracle I assume he'll start way at the north end and we'll just kind of work towards each other. Hey Chase, who's the girl? Huh? No, seriously, I, I was starting to think there aren't girls around here anymore. Does she have any friends? Single friends? Yeah, it looks like everyone's over here now. Both the Vermeer Baylors are here. Dad just started down there. The other rake's there. Now would be a good time for drone video. A couple problems, my drone's in the bailing tractor. I can't even run it while I'm raking, I'm not that talented. Plus there's like a giant chicken hawk flying around. It'd probably claw into my drone and destroy it. But hopefully the timing's right, I can get some drone video today, cause that'd be sweet. Okay, I take that back. There's two of them. All right, me and Andy's dad are about to meet here in the middle. So that means I'll be heading back to the other side of the road. And I think there's one more grass patch over there and then those still those two fields of alfalfa. It's got like a 10 foot wingspan. Look at that thing. Time for a bathroom break, I suppose. I'm just gonna do a time lapse on this one. Alright guys, we're getting there. Andy's dad's just starting this little piece. I'm gonna hop in there, help him, and we'll be done raking. It looks like they're getting pretty close to being done on the other side of the road. And I'm guessing those three bailers will come over here, do this alfalfa. And I'm gonna have time to get some drone video, and that's gonna be sweet with them three bailers going.
just like that we're done. I tell you what, in those small spots where you're turning a lot, this steering wheel knob comes in handy. <laughs> handy. Knowing me, I'm gonna fold this thing up, start headed down the road, and then realize that there's another piece of hay that I didn't rake yet. All right, so we're just finishing up the alfalfa strips in this big grass field. Now we're gonna head over and just do the two alfalfa fields. You guys had much trouble today with the bales? In I, don't, I don't have any um, rough looking bales. <clears throat> I had it wrapped around the rubber roller one time and take that off. But that's the only trouble I've had. I haven't plugged or anything. So how many bales do you guess we made out here in these fields today? Um, we're probably at about 550 right now and we got a few more to go yet. Um, I was thinking it was going to be more like 800. Yeah, I don't know. It's got an Instagram from Kip Siegler. Yeah? Yeah. What'd he say? Hammer down. Hammer down. <laughs> we got a little, a little Baylor chicken right here. Oh, I'll just switch. Oh, well you lost. they just got probably six or seven acres left I'm gonna head home with the rake that's a lot of hay don't you think we'll see you next time hope you enjoyed this video have a good one oh front axle you did good today I'm so sorry for what I put you through